I'm here today at the Tilgate Nature Centre, which is a, it's a loved part of our community. I love coming up here with my children, have done since my kids were nippers, and still come up here now, even though they're, some of them are older. And of course, we all love it, and it's beautiful, and they've got some fab little animals up here as well, and got little piggies and the little lambs and what have you. And our children come here on school trips as well, which is really quite lovely. But... Sadly, uh, we are sad to report that the four statues that normally sit outside that you put your donation boxes, three of them were hacked at and removed from the Nature Centre. Now, I'm joined by Simon Woodard, who is the manager of the Nature Centre. Hello, Simon. Hi, How Charlie. are you? Good, thanks. Good. Now, tell us a little bit. The, these statues that are normally here, they're iconic, really, to the Nature Centre, yeah. aren't they? Well, I've been here for 15 years, and they were here before me, and... Um, so as the kids come in they love to climb on and they're excited when I sit on them and um, you know save their pocket money to put in there so as I say they've lasted over 15 years without any problems but uh, yeah not much left of them now no it's pretty tragic I think the whole the whole situation is pretty tragic that somebody could come along and destroy such well they're beautiful as well aren't they they're all carved out of wood yeah, we bought them as uh, bits of carved play equipment and then they've been hollowed out inside to put the donation boxes in. And um, as I say, the kids really like climbing on them. They're really, really popular. And um, yeah, they are no more. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to cost a lot if you were to have to replace them, that's correct, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they're probably about £200 each to replace. Um, so we've just put a temporary box in at the moment and we've got one animal left. So yeah, to be honest, the damage they did taking them was more than the money they would have got from what was inside the animals yeah. so yeah that's very sad because the point is you know if they needed the money fair enough really i suppose in a sense it's not it's not right but they could have left the ornaments can they yeah i suppose so as i say at the end of the day the animal is the money was to feed the animals and help our running costs and obviously times are tight so the money people gives more important now than ever yeah yeah well see look and there's loads of people coming into the nature center as we speak coming to enjoy it and and i bet they notice the little uh what are they what were they pigs pigs and donkeys pigs, pigs and, and donkeys yeah people, i bet they notice them missing. yeah people have been noticed because regular visitors are so used to seeing them they said oh where they've gone yeah. so yeah it's a shame really yeah it's a shame, is a shame. Yeah. so what you know our message to the people out there would basically be you know, if they wanted the money, you know, they keep the money, just bring bring back the, the piggies, yeah? No, it'd be nice if we got the boxes back, and certainly if anyone's got any information on, on whereabouts, then contact the police. Yeah, just to let us know where they are, and we can go and get them again. Yeah, that'd be great. Cheers. Excellent. Thank you very much, Thank Simon. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>
uh, he was named when we got him. Oh, he was. <laughs> he was a pain when he was little, eh? Probably. He's quite inquisitive, <laughs> as you can see. Yeah, he is. Have a look You're at your lovely, mic. aren't you? You can't eat that, I'm afraid. He's white. We have to put uh, sun lotion on him in the uh, when it's really sunny. Really? Yeah, because he can get sunburnt otherwise. <laughs> No, he doesn't mind that. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. They're gorgeous. Are we going to get any other different animals up here, or should we expect anything new? Um, not just at the moment, I don't think. The donkeys are our newest thing, so uh, we have to see where we go from there. You've got some kangaroos up here as well. Are they kangaroos or wallaby? Palmer wallabies. Palmer wallabies. Where do they come from? Australia. They do? Yeah. All the way? Yeah. <laughs> They're lovely. I couldn't believe it when I saw them when I came up. I oh, thought, right. my word. They're tiny, the Palmer wallabies. Yeah, they're not like really the big lovely. ones. lovely. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, come from unusual. forests, so... Uh, they come from where? Forests. Forests. <laughs> yeah, they live in forests. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh, look at you. Ginger biscuits. I do like ginger biscuits. I like ginger biscuits as well. Yeah, we must be twins. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Oh, wow! Oh, it's going wrong with our glossons. These are crossbred piglets. The mothers are glossed on to what? Okay. And the father's um, a British lot. So, but they haven't got any spots on them at all. The crossbred <laughs> piglets. Yeah. What are they? What, what crossbreed are they again? Uh, the mothers are Gloucester Old Spot and the fathers are British lot. But they've come out completely white. They've got no spots on them <laughs> at the moment. Anyway, oh, they're 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 <laughs> <laughs> they don't stay that size, though, Claire. You're they not having one really quickly. Yeah. Oh, they look so soft. Yeah, they're so clean and white at the moment, aren't they? They really are clean. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as they start coming out here, that's the uh, thing to see spears. Oh, look at the little inky tail. They're all filing around, they're all on the inside at the moment. <laughs> see, Mummy's not so handsome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like a little puppy. <laughs> they're not micro pigs. <laughs> oh, no, no. What's the, is that the umbilical cord? Yeah. Sort of trailing. They're still only very young. Yeah. 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 So I'll take it that would just drop off as, yeah. yeah. We've got quite a few little boys there, by the looks of it as well. Mm. <laughs> I think there's a big wide world out there. Oh, it's quite going on. So when do they tend to start going outside? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they'll probably start, like, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, they'll come and start venturing out. Once one comes out, um, they will start thinking, oh, where's mm. gone? What's going on? Is it interesting out there? Yeah, go on, go on, you go first. Yeah, that's the first time someone's come out. Mm. It should be shaking like a leaf. <laughs> Cold out there. Oh. As they get a little bit bigger, they start running around and around the hut, <laughs> chasing each other. <laughs> back over there. Oh, I did it. <laughs> But you're not. <laughs> <laughs> got a big tummy on now, haven't you? How long? How long the uh, gestation? Is it uh, just three months, three? three weeks, three days? Really? Wow. <laughs> Quite easy to remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how long has she got left? Yeah, she's imminent. Really? Yeah. Do you tend to see the, the sort of the warning signs or? Yeah, you can see once her mothers fill out that, mm. um, you know, she's quite in this. Mm. Mm, it won't be long. It won't be long, will you? It's that point when they all get fit up. <laughs> Can I have? Do you normally yeah. x-ray it all? Well, sort of no, scan no, we don't. Not x-ray, obviously, but scan. No, we don't. And will Dad Wilfred get to see his babies or do you keep them separate? Um, he will get to see them, but it'd be through a fence. <laughs> not allowed to come anywhere near them? Not really, it's best to mix them all. He'll be chasing mum again and... Uh, well, yeah, of course, because she'll be fertile at the yeah, moment. She'll just um, keep your shuttle away. I mean, he's got two, you can see two cells down there with him. Two weeks and later. And then two, three weeks later, yeah. I've come back and I'm like, seriously, yeah. is that the same one, isn't it? And they're killed out. Yeah. It's like our lambs were saying about our lambs, and he comes to these ends. I mean, they, they're hard cow. <laughs> no. Well. Yeah, she's getting quite <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's all gone, Stan. 
lick the back in half. Can't get down to the skin, can you? It's really dangerous. South Downs, there are local sheep. <laughs> and the other one? They're Borreys, they come from the Isle of Borre in the Outer Hebrides. So they're quite rare when you've been around. They're quite pretty sheep, then, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Especially when, uh, just before we uh, shear them, they're really, really hot. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, because it's quite. Do you not realise that? I'm going to eat my trousers now. <laughs> Nothing in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. Mm. He's a good old lad, I can say. In the hole, rabbit! Again! Rabbit! I can't see the rabbit! <laughs> <laughs> Can't dilly dally. You can see their little lion heads. <laughs> I'm supposed to take them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're all taking turns. It's Harvey, is it? The boat? Yeah. And this one in front of him is called Pandora. And what about the other one on the other side? Tallulah. He's locked up. And this is our little kid. Yeah. Oh, Billy. <laughs> oh, Billy. <laughs> Billy, the kid's one of our work experience. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Is the food, Katie? Mind your dangly bit. Mm. Uh, hang on, that was for Katie. <laughs> How old's Billy? When was he born? Um, it would have been about eight for time. No, it wasn't. It was later than that. Oh, no, it might be eight for eight for time, something like that. Thank you. <laughs> no. Oh, is it beginning of May? It might be in May, actually. May. Ooh, that must have hurt. <laughs> He does indeed. And there's a stripe down their back. It's called an eel stripe. An eel? Eel stripe, yeah. And English goats must have that stripe. <laughs> wow. He's quite scary, he is. <laughs> Do you think so? Yeah, he's a bit intimidating. He's quite <laughs> full on, isn't he? This is a girl, I gather. <laughs> So once he matures, once he gets to about four years old, he'll be really a big fussy goat and his horns will sway round. And what's your role here? Um, I'm nature centre assistant. I look after the work experience kids as well. Um, do a bit of everything really. You get a lot of work experience children up we here. We have a huge amount of work experience children from colleges and schools, yeah. And they do well? Yeah, they're all pretty good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. What would you advise anybody who might want to come up and join in and help out? Who should they talk to? Should they uh, come Simon. along? Come talk to Simon. Yeah. Yeah. And you're quite happy for people to come up and maybe help out? Or? Yeah, I mean, we, because we do have a lot of people, it has to be fitted in in the diary because you can't have too many at one time, mm. obviously. Um, so as long as it fits in with the diary, yeah, it's fine. Excellent. Well, that's <laughs> sounds sweet. Oh, <laughs> um, 